everyone welcome back to my channel today i will be discussing about the difference between collinear and non-collinear points and also the difference between a coplanar and non-coplanar points okay so first let me explain what's the difference between a collinear and non-collinear points so ano nga ba pagkakaiba ng collinear at ng non-collinear points Pag sinabi nating collinear, collinear are points that lie on the same line. Okay, so collinear are points that lie on the same line. Ibi anong ibig sabihin noon? Yung mga points na makikita sa iisang line. That's collinear points. Okay? And non-collinear points are points that do not lie on the on the same line okay so non-collinear points are points that do not lie on the same line ibig sabihin yung mga points na hindi makikita o hindi nakalagay sa iisang line that's non-collinear points okay so let us take a look at this example so, alin dito yung mga collinear lines or collinear points? I'm sorry. So, what are the collinear points here? The collinear points here are A, B, C. Okay? Bakit A, B, C? It's because these points here lie on this line. So, dito sila naka, makikita, na, nakikita sila sa iisang line lang. Okay? So, that's collinear. Another one is H, E, D, C. So, lahat ng mga points na nandirito, na naglalay sa line na to, yung pataas na yan, they are also called collinear points. Okay? Another example of collinear points is F, E, G. Okay? So, eto mga points na to, F, E, G are also collinear points because they lie on the same line in this. Ito, dito, lahat ng mga to ay makikita sa iisang line lang. Kaya tinatawag nating collinear points. Next, what about examples of non-collinear points? So, ano naman yung mga examples ng non-collinear points? So, yung mga points na kagaya nito, A, B, D, non-collinear points yan. Okay? Another is S, H, E, B is also non-collinear points. Bakit? Kasi... Etong dalawang to makikita dito sa isang line, parehong line, pero yung isang point doon ay nasa kabilang line. That's why it's called non-collinear points. Okay? Same as with this one. F, E, C. F, E, C, the points F, E, C are non-collinear points. It's because they do not lie on the same line. Because only E, C lie on this line, dito siya makikita, pero but the F here is located on the other line. Okay? So, makikita yung F doon sa kabilang line. That's why we say that F, E, C are non-collinear points. Okay? Another, let's say H, E, G. So, H, E, G, again, H, E nasa line na yan, and G nasa kabilang line. So, since they are not located in the same line, then, therefore, we say that H, E, G are non-collinear points. Okay? So, let's try to write everything. So, ano-ano yung mga collinear points dito? Ang mga collinear points are, what? The A, B, C. What else? The F, E, G. Another is the H, E, D, C. Okay? So, those are the points that are collinear points. Okay? And an example of non-collinear points are A, B, G. It can also be H, E, A, or F, E, B. O ano pa? It can also be D, C, D, D, C, A, and 
so on, and so forth. Okay? Basta kapag yung points, one of the points, okay, or one or two of the points are not located on the same line, then it is called non-collinear points. Okay? Next, what about coplanar and non-coplanar points? What's the difference between coplanar and non-coplanar points? So, from the word itself, planar, coplanar, non-coplanar. So, coplanar meaning points that lie on the same plane. Plane naman siya, it's not a line. Okay? Ko eto kanina, collinear, linear means line. Eto, planar means plane. Kaya coplanar. So, points that are located on the same plane are called coplanar. And points that are not located on the same plane is called non-coplanar points. Okay, and an example. What are the planes here? Eto, meron tayong plane dito. Okay, so anong plane natin to? This is a triangle. Okay? So, ano yung pwede natin, ano yung mga coplanar natin dito? It can be, actually, ilang phase yan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Doon sa malaki. So, we have a big triangle and the small triangles here. So, what are the points that are coplanar points? So, the points that are coplanar points are B, E, D. Because this one, the B, E, D is this plane here. Okay? That's plane B, E, D. So, that's coplanar. Okay? An example of that is the points B, E, D, they form a plane here. Okay, next is the what? The D, E, C. Okay, that's also another example of coplanar. Okay, ang D, D, E, C. Okay, why? Because they are located on the same plane. Ito naman yung plane. They are located on the same plane. Kaya tinawag natin silang coplanar. Next is the B, D, C. Okay? B, D, C is also an example of coplanar kasi they are located on one plane. etong face na to. Okay? Another. Another is B, E, C. B, E, C ay etong big triangle here, this big triangle here, it's called BEC. And it's also a plane. So, this is also an example of coplanar points. Okay, what about non-coplanar points? So, non-coplanar points meaning yung mga points na not located on the same plane. Okay, an example of that. Let, like, for example, we have <coughs> excuse me, B E A. So, A, B, E, A, B, E is an example of non-coplanar points because B, E here is located on this plane but the A is on the other side. Okay? Next, what about this C, D, A? So, CDA is also an example of non-coplanar because CD is in this plane but the A is not. Okay? So, outside, hindi sila pareho ng plane na yan. That's why it is called, what? It's called non-coplanar points. Another, what about CEA? Again, CEA is not coplanar. It's a non-coplanar points because the CE here is there but the A is outside. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin natin ng non-coplanar and coplanar points. Okay, another example. Let's say we have this kind of plane. Okay? So, let's say we have this. And the letters, let's put the letters here. Let's say we have the A, B, C, D, 
E F G H I. Okay? So from this one, what are the coplanar points? The coplanar points here are this. Okay? C G F B A. So that's a coplanar points. Okay? Another is etong F H F I C B is also another coplanar points because it's a plane. Okay, rectangular. Okay, another is this F G H I. It's also a coplanar points. And the H D C I is a coplanar points and E B C B is a coplanar points. Okay, so those are the coplanar points. What about the the non-coplanar? Okay, the non-coplanar. What are the non-coplanar? So anything na outside this, like for example, we have G H I B. For the end, G H I B is an example of non-coplanar because G H I is located in this. But the B is outside, which is very far from this plane. Okay? Another one is, let's say we have H, I, C, E. So, H, I, C is located on this plane, but the E is outside. Okay? Not on this plane. That's why it's called non-coplanar points okay next another another is let's say we have a b a b f h so a b f is in this plane but the h is outside so it's still a non-coplanar points so that's an example of non-coplanar points and coplanar points okay so, don't forget, coplanar points are points located on the same plane. And non-coplanar points are points located not on the same plane. At least one point located not on the same plane, that's non-coplanar points. And collinear and non-collinear points are, when we say collinear points, points na located in one line or the same line. Non-collinear points are points that are not located on the same line. Okay? So, I hope you learned something today. Again, this is Teacher Luis, your mommy tutor. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my upcoming videos. Bye!